All right, so today's the morning of day 89. 89 days since I bought these two little red-tailed catfish. I've been taking videos every single day so you can see how fast they grow. And they are getting pretty big. All right, let's see how big they are today. I finally figured out the trick to this pump. I've been putting it under the water and kind of spinning it around to get the air out and it's definitely keeps it from floating around <laughs> i was having a hard time with this thing floating uh, it's just because it was trapping a lot of air in there it's kind of interesting seems like they're a lot darker today than they normally are and i've heard the older they get the the darker they'll get they'll get really dark and then their tails will get really in like a bright red color still haven't gotten a lot of red on the tails though which is Pretty interesting. I've been using the Melifix maybe once every two or three days just as a kind of a preventative. It seems like it's been working great. Other than that, really haven't been using any water conditioner or anything. All right, so today we are feeding shrimp, raw shrimp tails that I got in the frozen food section at the grocery store. All right, so I'm going to take this camera and give you some underwater video. Alright, so today is the evening of day 89. 89 days since I bought these two little red-tailed catfish. And I'm going to turn off the pump here. And it's about 11 p.m. on the 89th day. <laughs> Pretty late. I can see just a couple whiskers sticking out over there. These guys are getting huge. I just cannot believe how big they are. It's pretty amazing. Compared to when I started, when I started, I actually had one get sucked up in this little, these little bars right here. I actually went between those bars and got sucked up by the filter. They were that small, really super tiny. And now, yeah, they're definitely not going to get sucked up by this filter. The only thing I'm kind of worried about is if they get too big, they could, I don't know if they could potentially jump out of this thing. I don't know. But it seems like if you look at kind of the edges, the edges kind of angle up at an angle. So if it kind of, you know, was like had its nose against the bottom and kind of shot up, I, I would think they could jump out. But I don't know. The lady at the pet store said... It is extremely unlikely that a catfish would jump out of a uh, like a hot tub like this. So I'm taking her word for it. <laughs> hopefully we don't lose one. And if it does jump out, hopefully I'm there and I can throw them back in real quick. And then if one jumps out, I'll definitely have to figure out some kind of a cover or something. 
uh, or bring the water down a little bit lower or something. All right, so today I'm feeding cod. Wild caught cod that I chopped up with my boot knife. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take this camera and give you some underwater video.